What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stans here and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon video here on the channel. We are back with Pixelmon Generation Tutorials and today I'm going to show you guys how to summon the Galarian Birds and of course eventually catch them. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield dropped their new DLC, Crown Tundra. In that Crown Tundra DLC, they revealed that there is three legendary variants. Uh, so if you guys are very familiar with Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, uh, the three legendary Pokemon from uh, the Kanto region, from the original 151, they got new Galarian variants where they uh, represent a different typing now and still show a little bit of love to their original typing in their signature moves. Uh, so there is three uh, alternate forms to these original Pokemon. And today I'm going to show you guys how to catch them in Pixelmon. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, comment down below letting me know if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more. That's basically what keeps me going when it comes to these type of videos. Uh, and then if you guys want, you guys are more than welcome to check out my second channel where I drop uh, Pokemon content, card openings, let's plays, shiny hunting, things like that. So if you guys want to check out more Pokemon stuff, make sure to check out my second channel. Let's get started with today's video. I honestly didn't really mean to do this, but getting all three of these uh, shrines pretty much in this order, uh, it was kind of just lucky. We are looking at the Ice Shrine, the Lightning Shrine, and the Fire Shrine. These are the, the first part of what's necessary to spawn in the Legendary Birds. Uh, so we're going to head over to one of them and I'm going to you know talk to you guys a little bit more about it. Inside of these shrines, there is a, well, this isn't really a shrine to say. It's more like a tower. Inside the tower is the shrine. And usually on the shrine, it'll probably have uh, something that pretty much resembles the Pokemon you're going to catch. So we're in the ice one uh, for Articuno, of course. So the little uh, figure right here in the middle definitely looks like an Articuno, or at least I see it as an Art Articuno. Uh, and that's what's necessary, of course, to spawn it in. Another item that you guys are going to need is a orb. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at my inventory here and uh, pretty much go over this. So as you play Pixamon, you guys can always defeat Pokemon, boss Pokemon, totem Pokemon, uh, things of that nature, and it will drop an orb, or luckily, if you're lucky enough, it'll drop an orb. And this orb is used for a bunch of different Pokemon to potentially sh uh, spawn in like legendaries, which I've showed you previously on this channel, uh, and today you're going to need them for these. Um, but you don't need it just by itself, though, you are also going to need it to, with a corresponding gem. Uh, so in this instance, uh, for Articuno, you need a Psychic Gem, for uh, Zapdos, you need a Fighting Gem, and then for Moltres, you're going to need a Dark Gem. So these are the three different gems you're going to need, as opposed to what you normally need, where you need the Ice Stone, Lightning Stone, and then, of course, the Fire Stone to represent it. Uh, all you have to do is go into a crafting branch or your crafting grid, pressing E on the screen, uh, and then just craft them together, put them in the same. doesn't matter. As long as they're right next to each other, it should, of course, give you the orb in question. So it's going to give you the orb of Mystical Souls for Articuno, the Orb of Martial Souls for Zapdos, and the Orb of Malevolent Souls for Moltres. Uh, if you guys are kind of getting the gist of it, Articuno is going to be a Psychic type now, Zapdos is going to be a Fighting type now, and Moltres is going to be a Dark type. Um, of course, with any other orbs, uh, you really just need 375 KOs of Pokemon. All you have to do is go out and battle wild Pokemon. I don't think it works with trainer battles or like you're battling with your friends and stuff like that. I don't think it works that way. So what I recommend is if you guys are in a public server and you guys need to do some EV training anyway, go EV train. Make sure you have these orbs with you so you, of course, get the KOs that count towards filling up the orb. But finally, the orb is should be full at having 375 KOs. Now all you have to do is head to the shrine. So we're going to catch all three of these guys here today, show you guys pretty much how they look. Uh, and then we have our master boss to, of course, catch these guys as easy as possible. So let's get started. So first thing, Articuno, we're going to use the Orb of Mystical Souls. We're going to go ahead and right click it on the shrine. And you should see particles. Of course, you no longer have that orb. And you should automatically enter a battle with Articuno. Now, as you guys can kind of see, it's out of sight of the frame there. You're in a battle with Articuno, and you're not in a battle with regular Articuno. You're in a battle with Galarian Articuno. We have that Master Ball. I'm going to easily throw it out. And we should be good when it comes to Articuno. I mean, we should be good when it comes to all of them, to be honest. Master Ball kind of do that. So, uh, first Legendary, Sheer Cold, Guarantee Catch, all the achievements out of the way. And we have Articuno in our party. Now, let's go do the same for the rest of them. Next up, we have Zapdos. Another thing to note when it comes to these shrines is you kind of look at the side of them and they're kind of designed that way. Articuno had like snowflakes coming out of it. Zapdos has about like lightning bolts 
But now, we're going to initiate the battle with Zapdos. And what's pretty cool, I'm going to be honest with you guys, Zapdos is probably my favorite of the three. It looks really cool. It's basically a Roadrunner. A lot of, a lot of uh, another thing that a lot of people compare it to is actually a more of a Chocobo from Final Fantasy. Which, I think that's what I kind of attribute it to. It looks really cool. Um, so we have ourselves the Zapdos. And now we just need one final Pokemon. And of course, Moltres is trying to has a little bit of flames coming out of it. All we have to do is Orb of Malevolent Souls. Right click it and we should initiate the whole part. Dude, I think the particle thing when you're initiating shrines is probably one of my favorite things. Oh man, Moltres looks big. Moltres looks cool, to be honest. I think it's going to be a cool Pokemon for you guys to look at. And I, I personally think that all three of them actually uh, bring something new to the table altogether. I think they look really, really cool. Uh, so I want you guys to tell me what you guys think. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys how they kind of look. And this is going to be Articuno. I did kind of showcase it within the uh, update video that I did a few weeks ago. But uh, Galarian Articuno is actually a flying type Pokemon. They keep the flying typing on all across all three. They just change their primary uh, typing, which in this case, Articuno is no longer ice. It is a psychic type Pokemon. It looks really cool. Reminds me of Cyclops from X-Men. Uh, and then it does come with the signature move, Freezing Glare. So the user shoots its psychic power from its eyes to attack. This may also leave the target frozen. Uh, so this is kind of pretty cool. Like It, it kind of like reminisces or references the fact that it was an ice type Pokemon. Um, it has a 90 base attack and of course 100% accurate with it being a special attack. So if you guys have any like ideas or like wondering how can I run this, it's probably going to be a timid or modest nature to take advantage of uh, those stats, for example. Next, uh, we're going to have Zapdos real quick. This one should be really fun to look at. Oh my god, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys, Zapdos is honestly probably my fun, like the, the one that I have a good time looking at. It looks really, really cool. And then catching these in the Crown Thunder and the DLC is actually really cool. Uh, Zapdos' is his, a signature move is a Thunderous Kick. The user overwhelms the target with lightning-like movement before delivering a kick. This also lowers the target's defense stat, and it is a physical move. Uh, same base stat, 90, 100% accuracy, but as you guys can tell, this is a different story. Zapdos is a physical attacker now, which is something to take a look at. We're not going to take a look at the base stats or not. I'm going to let you guys figure it out. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of uh, pretty much idea of how this works out. And the final of the three is going to be uh, Galarian Moltres. And shout out to my, my boy Phantom. My boy Phantom's, uh, he's one of our moderators for this channel and for the other channel. He is in, well, I don't want to say he's in love with the Galarian Moltres, but I think he kind of is. I think he kind of is. And design-wise, this thing is fantastic. Uh, and then, of course, does come with its own signature move. Fiery Wrath, same 90 base attack. Uh, 100% accuracy. The user transforms its wrath into a fire-like aura to attack. This may also make opposing Pokemon flinch, which is really, really cool. It is a special move, so it might be something you want to consider. One thing to note when it comes to Galarian Moltres is uh, they do like competitive VGC battles. And if I'm not mistaken, Moltres was on a winning team recently. So that's something to take a look at if you guys do plan on using it. Of course, VGC is doubles, picks them on primary, uses singles. So that's another thing to look into. But yeah, one final thing that I want to do before I uh, end off today's video, though, is I want to show you guys their shiny variants because I think they are phenomenal. And I think you guys will think the same thing. I went ahead and used Poke Editor to change the uh, Pokemon that we've caught today into their shiny variants. And this is another callback to the fact that they uh, are, you know, the, the Galarian versions of the Kanto Pokemon. So their shiny versions are actually how they look, color scheme wise, originally. So a shiny Articuno or Galarian Articuno looks like a regular Articuno, and I think it looks really cool. Like I, 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 I'm in love with this idea of them being. Uh, Pretty much their shiny versions, how they originally look. So Zapdos looks yellow, closer uh, closer to yellow as opposed to like orange, for example. And then Moltres is probably the one that I'm most interested in seeing. Yeah, definitely looks a lot closer to Moltres. Not as bad as Moltres in my opinion because Moltres is kind of iffy. But this looks amazing. I love that they went with this idea as their color schemes to represent, you know, their Kanto variant. So I think it's really sick. Uh, I just wanted to show that off for you guys here today just because it's, it's, it's cool. I like it. I like it. 
But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video and kind of understand how the uh, process works of catching these new legendary Pokemon, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you guys never miss an upload or a live stream. I probably won't be doing many live streams here on this channel just because I focus on the other channel. But I do want to produce more videos. And if you guys enjoy the way that these videos are coming out uh, lately, let me know in the comment section. That's how I know that you guys are enjoying it. That's how I know you guys want to watch more. Uh, I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me throughout the years in general. And then the videos lately have been on fire. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.